So let's take a little closer look at the Earth's atmosphere and what's in the Earth's atmosphere. Well, we have a lot of gases there, and we can kind of classify gases as either being permanent gases or variable gases. Permanent gases, like the slide says, generally are have a constant composition. Um, so for instance, nitrogen, as we walk around this room or that room or wherever you're at, the air is about 80% nitrogen by volume. The second major component is oxygen, and it's about 20% oxygen. Um, then we skip all the way down to uh, almost just 1%, and that would be argon. So these three gases are relatively constant in their composition in their atmosphere. Here's a list of other gases. Notice that, and I was double checking, I hadn't noticed this before, these are all actually um, elements. No compounds here. These are permanent gases. So here we have kind of a look at the gases in the Earth's atmosphere. We said um, on the previous slide, we said that most gas is nitrogen, followed by oxygen. Then if you look here, actually, we have something that wasn't listed under permanent gases. That would be methane. Methane is a compound. The formula for methane is carbon CH4. And so methane is a variable gas as well as carbon dioxide is another variable gas, okay, a component in the Earth's atmosphere. So let's look at variable gases. A gas is we said to be variable when its concentration varies. And so uh, water gas, water vapor, um, its concentration will vary um, from a given location um, between locations and for the same location at different times. Um, followed, notice that we have uh, water vapor is a variable gas, carbon dioxide is also a variable gas. And I have a few slides coming up to kind of show you the trends in, in carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere. Why is there, why does it cycle? And I'll show you. Of course, carbon dioxide is that, is the gas that is, uh, we believe, contributing to the greenhouse effect. Um, then we have ozone, which um, you see, uh, you've probably heard of ozone and an ozone hole, and we'll talk about that coming up too. But for ozone, ozone's a molecule, and, and its formula is O3. So our, there are three oxygen atoms all stuck together to make an ozone molecule. So these are all examples of variable gases. That means they vary by location and vary by time of year.